Member representing Bodenga Dangeshu Nutrator. I'm from Sapoto Building Show. Mr. Speaker, I want to commend His Excellency the President for the timely presentation of the 2021 budget. And of course, <coughs> this House for being intelligent and dedicated in debating issues of our national development. My contribution, sir, is on the key assumptions of the budget. I want to draw the attention of the House that assumptions in budgets all over the world to best practices is not necessarily only on production economics. We have always picked our, our assumptions on the benchmark of petroleum price per barrel, the number of barrels production per day, and also the exchange rate. I think, sir, for a legislature that has a legislative agenda on economic diversification, we should also include those things that will promote the agenda of economic diversification. We should not be basing our assumptions on a monoproduct economy of petroleum alone. And there's one very important assumption that has not been captured. In fact, it has not been captured. Sir, that is the Oga Kota Kota of them all. That is the legislative assumption. Honorable Kakale, I'm following you. Uh, but Honorable Ononuga and uh, Pana, can you please maintain social distance, please? Thank you. Kakali, continue. The I'm, most I'm important assumption, sir, that has been always been left out in our budget is that of legislative assumption. And this Ninth Assembly, under your leadership, sir, has been able to break the jinx of maintaining the January December cycle of the budget. It's a key assumption that should be captured that unless the legislature has been able to pass that budget within record time, all other things will not be possible. More so with the section four and in chapter four of the constitution that give the power of the pulse to the National Assembly. So I want to call on the House to include the legislative assumption in this budget, being that it's the most constant and reliable assumption that this House has been able to achieve for last year and definitely for this year. I also want to appeal to the House to include other assumptions that will really reflect the socio-economic challenges of this country. Why should we always talk about assumptions, sir, on the exchange rate alone, or on the dollar, or the cost of the barrel of oil to the dollar, or the number of barrels done? Why can't we use other parameters of production? Say, for example, the cost of gold, or the production of gold in this country, or tin, as assumptions, or cocoa, or even rice, cotton, and the rest. These are key sectors of the real economy that can push this country forward. Our budget should not, should not only be a representation of capital expenditure and revenues, but a reflection of what other components of socioeconomic challenges that would be able to affect the performance of that budget. All the assumptions we have been using over the years concerning petroleum benchmark, the production, and also the exchange have never been stable. Many of them have not been achieved. There are other key assumptions that affect performance of budget. Uh, in general, we didn't have to talk about employment, sir. Exactly so. What about assumptions of taking care of our IDPs? What about the assumptions of taking care and reigning on insecurity? And the assumption of, for example, being able to end ASUS strike and its impact on human capital development in this country. So my prayer to this honorable house and colleagues is to expand the scope of those assumptions so that our budget will really be a budget that will reflect the will and the inclusive demands of Nigerians. Not just being a function of fund allocation without connection with the realities of the development strides of this country. And particularly, I want to appeal to this House to please include legislative assumptions which this House has been able to achieve, and is a milestone that has been achieved in this country, being able to pass budget at record time with the, good, with the very excellent relation of the, of the executive and legislative arms of government for the benefit of Nigerians. Thank you very much. Sir.